हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम बैक इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द चागी मैग्नेटिक बेल्ट एंड रिमेंबर दैट इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट द अरेबियन प्लेट इज सब्जेक्टिंग बीनीथ द कॉन्टिनेंटल प्लेट ऑफ इंडियन प्लेट बट दैट वाज माय मिस्टेक एंड रिमेंबर दैट the continental plate is eurasian plate and the oceanic plate is arabian plate so the arabian plate subducting beneath the eurasian plate in makran area and it is called makran subduction zone and today we will discuss about the makran subduction complex or uh, you can say that the model of the makran subduction complex and we will discuss in detail about the makran subduction complex in the makran area of balochistan province in pakistan so viewers the makran subduction complex uh, in pakistan is east west oriented and it is about more than 1000 km long on the eastern side of the makran subduction complex there are uh, chaman transform zone and uh, on the western side of the makran subduction complex there are जगरून माउंटेन्स और यू कैन से जेगरस माउंटेन्स सो ऑन द ईस्टर्न साइड ऑफ द मकरान सब्डक्शन कॉम्प्लेक्स देर आर चमन ट्रांसफॉर्म जोन एंड ऑन द वेस्टर्न साइड देर आर जेगरस माउंटेन्स एंड द ट्रेंच इज अबाउट थ्री किलोमीटर बिकॉज वेन वन प्लेट सब्डक्टिंग बीनीथ अनदर प्लेट सो देर आर ट्रेंच इज प्रेजेंट देयर और दिस ट्रेंच इज प्रेजेंट एट द बाउंड्री ऑफ अबाइसल प्लेन and towards the eastern side the gap and arc and trench is about uh, 600 km so uh, on the eastern side of the makran subduction complex there are gap and arc and trench is about 600 km and on the western side the gap between arc and trench is about 400 km long and there are one important point uh, that you must remember if two oceanic plates if there are intra oceanic type of subduction it means that both are oceanic plates so there will be 250 km gap between arc and trench and if there are uh, alien type of subduction it means that one plate is continental plate and another is oceanic plate so the gap between arc and trench will be more than 500 km and remember that i have told you on eastern side of subduction complex there are gap is about 600 km and, and on the western side of the makran subduction complex the gap is about 400 km so it is all about uh, i think 1000 km gap between on the both side of the arc and trench the conclusion is that in makran there are andean type subduction one is a eurasian plate which is continental plate and another is oceanic plate which is a arabian plate and arabian plate uh, subducting beneath the continental plate of eurasian plate and because of the evidence of the uh, arc and trench gap on the uh, eastern side which is 600 km and uh, the arc and trench gap is about 400 km on the western side so it is the evidence for the andean type subduction and the average uh, convergence rate between the arabian and Eurasian plate is about 5 cm per air so the convergence rate is about 5 cm per air between Eurasian and Arabian plate trench is there at the junction of abyssal plane and axillary prism and remember that in the area of chaman which is in the uh, balochistan province of pakistan there are uh, chaman transform zone and uh, there are uh, a fault which is sinusoidal displacement we will discuss about the chaman transform zone or chaman fault in detail in the next lecture but just remember this point it is a sinusoidal displacement in the chaman transform zone another important point is that if there are uh, andean type subduction so the another uh, evidence of the andean type subduction will be that there will be more than 30 km distance between subduction zone so if there are more than 30 km distance between subduction distance or we can say if there are more than 30 km distance between subduction zone so it means that will be andean type subduction 
But in the case of Makran area, there are uh, intra-oceanic subduction, so there are less than 30 km distance between the subducting plates. So we can say that there are less than 30 km distance between subduction area. So students, if more than 30 km distance of the subduction, so it means that will be Andean type subduction. So if less than 30 km distance of the subduction zone or the subduction distance, it will be intra-oceanic subduction zone. Another important point is that there are north-south oriented Afghan and Iran plates that are converging towards each other and these Afghan and Iran plates are convergent plates which is called Sistan Suture Zone. Sistan Suture Zone contains two plates which are converging toward each other and both plates are Afghan and Iranian plates. So there are two plates, Afghan and Iran plates, with, which are converging towards each other and the area is called Sistan Suture Zone. And after that there are four arc basins, one is in Pakistan and another is in Iran. And Kharan in Pakistan and Maskhel in Iran. These both are the four arc basins. And now we will discuss about the evidences of the Makran subduction zone. The first evidence is that the trench is present there. It is not like the uh, Pacific or Gulf of Oman or Abyssal Plain. Number two is that there are in the in the northern side there are axillary prism is present. Number three is that volcanic arc is present there, and andesite is present, and which is the main indicator of the subduction zone because andesite is present there or we can say calcareous alkaline magmatism take place in the area. And number five is that magmatic arc is present there and magmatic arc form when the subducted plate melt at the about 100 km depth so magmatic arc form. So magmatic arc is another indicator of the subduction zone because magmatic arc form when the subducted plate melts at the depth of 100 km. And after that the another evidence is that the seismicity of the area which is deeper in north and shallow in south. So it is the another evidence of the Makran subduction zone. And the deepest earthquake recorded in the area is about 80 km. And the trench which is present in the Makran area is not like a, a North Pacific because of the low angle dipping of the plate. So it is not like the trench of uh, North Pacific because there are the dipping angle is low and uh, abundant supply of sediments are present there. Another point is that it is not very far from the divergent plate boundaries. So it proves that there are active subduction in Makran region because these both plates are converging towards each other about 5 cm per year and we called it Andean type subduction. So students it is all about the Makran subduction zone which is in the Balochistan province and two plates which are Eurasian plate and Arabian plate and Arabian plate subducting beneath the Eurasian plate in Makran area and these are the evidences about the subduction of the Arabian plate beneath the Eurasian plate. And it is the Andean type subduction because Eurasian plate is continental plate and Arabian plate is oceanic plate and you know that the density of the oceanic plate always high so it is subducting beneath the Eurasian plate and it is called Andean type subduction in Makran area or we can say that it is the Makran subduction complex or Makran subduction zone. So students I hope you will enjoy all of this information about the Makran subduction zone or Makran subduction complex. And we also discuss about the tectonic model of the Makran subduction complex. So viewers please subscribe my channel. So thank you for watching my videos.